The football pitch sized Rocky Mijingo Island is located at the junction between Uganda, Kenya and Tanzania. An estimated 300 fishermen operate on and around the island. It takes about two hours by a motorboat from Migoli district of western Kenya to the island and six hours from Bujiri in Uganda. Ugandan authorities say the island falls within the boundaries of its eastern district of Bujiri and so does the Gogo Earth map. But Kenyans do not want to hear this. They say Mijingo Island is not in Uganda and it's theirs. According to the belief of people who are living here, like ourselves, we do call that is a Kenyan island. <laughs> A reference to the geographical coordinate would have provided an easier answer to the ownership of the island, but it has not been the case. There are now new claims of a high crime rate at the island. Some of the Jaluo fishermen are the ones causing confusion at Mijingo. A few years ago, the two countries of Kenya and Uganda had a similar role over Waisi Island, also in Lake Victoria, which almost ended in a shootout. But later was found out that the island was indeed in Ugandan territory and Kenya backed off. The problem, it seems, is that the Kenya has a smallest part of Lake Victoria, but its citizens, mostly fishermen, have settled on the islands of Uganda, thereby mixing occupancy and sovereignty. They disturb us, and sometimes our boats are arrested and taken to Kenya. The disagreement between the two countries mainly originate from Mijingo Beach Management Unit, which has leadership differences. How many dead people have you found here? Those are just talks. Some fishermen from Kenya, one of the Ugandan fishermen, are from the Mijingo Islands after the marriage. In the past years, the island was bushy with no known human settlement. Mijingo Island is the most popular among fishermen because of its flat rock beaches, which makes it easy to dock their boats. Recently, the Kenyan authority stopped fishermen from constructing structures on the pyramid that belongs to Kenya opposite Mijingo. The authorities stopped us from constructing and ordered the demolition of the existing structures. The houses you see appear to be cheap. The word Mijingo means abandoned in Iluo and indeed for years the three islands collectively known as Mijingo in Lake Victoria had no human habitation. Life at Mijingo Island is unique compared to other islands in Uganda. Fishermen here constructed chubiko kind make iron sheet structures to protect them against rain and wind. These women work at one of the restaurants of Mijingo and updates us on the goings of the isle. These structures have no problem. But when it rains, they become too cold. This season is known as Gaena around the disputed island because there is less fish here. Fishermen spend most of their time in conversation while others clean their fish nets. The fishing activity is not good. Because there is no fish, we are just depending on, the, on, the, on the, our manager. Nile Patch is the much prized fish stock that attracts most of the fishermen to this rock isle. It is everybody's hope that an answer will soon be got from a joint Kenya-Uganda Technical Committee appointed to study and locate Mijingo Island by the closure of this month of July. This is the controversial Mijingo Island between Uganda and Kenya. And both governments are called upon to settle this matter to assist the fishermen carry out their work without any interference. Reporting for UBC, Joseph Bule, Mijingo Island.